Justin Cussman and I'm here to show you a very simple flash tutorial on how to animate. Alright so first things first before you animate anything what you need to do is check your uh, frame rate on your stage here. So we're gonna click just anywhere on our background here and just in the gray area and in your property inspector on the right you need to go down to the properties tab and you need to check your FPS, your frames per second. Always check your stage size as well to make sure that's appropriate, but FPS frames per second. Set to default 24, which is fine, there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm going to switch mine to 30, which is kind of the standard for video things of that nature, a little more smooth, a little more easy to calculate for me. So I'm going to use 30. Second thing, obviously, is we need to have something to animate. I'm going to grab this oval tool and just draw an oval. Okay, so several kinds of animation. In Flash, you've got Shape Tween, you got Motion Tween, Classic Tween. We're just going to do the Motion Tween, which requires that this object, or whatever object you've placed on your stage, be a symbol. Easiest way to convert that something to a symbol in Flash. Right-click, Convert to Symbol. Now, you've got several kinds of symbols in here. You've got three. Movie Clip, Button, and Graphic. Any one of these can be animated. I'm going to stick with Movie Clip. It is by far the most versatile out of the three. And uh, I'll explain the properties of each later a little more in depth for the more uh, in-depth animation tutorial. But I'm going to stick with Movie Clip. And always, always name your symbols. So I'm just going to name this like Blue Circle. Okay. I'm going to click OK over here. All right. Oh, I've already got that, that named in uh, my timeline from previously. I'm going to call this blue circle 2. Just to, actually, this is a good good example of something here. In Flash, always use verbose names for something. I wouldn't want to name this blue circle 2. Always name it blue circle 2 in this fashion, more verbose, uh, because Flash sometimes has trouble later on with some of the more advanced things we'll do with numbers and numerals. So I'm going to name it 2. Click OK. All right, so now we have this blue bounding box, which shows us that we've converted this to a symbol. Now what we've got to do is calculate on our timeline how long we want this animation to take. Okay, so so our, our pacing is really important here. It's one of those principles of animation I'm going to talk about. So what we got here is one frame. I know I want this to take a couple of seconds. Let's just say two seconds. So I can click on frame 60 over here and I can uh, have this thing take two seconds to get from this side of the stage to this side of the stage. Alright, so what I'm going to do is right click and insert a frame and Flash obliges by filling in all the rest of these frames, okay, from point A to point B, from 1 to 60, okay. So now I need to right click between my frames here, any place in between, don't click on frame 1, don't click on frame 60, I need to create a motion tween. You're, if you've done everything right so far, this should turn blue, okay. So now all I've got to do, now that I've got the tween, okay, from, from here to here, click on whatever frame, in this case I'm going to use frame 60, that I want my circle to end up at. Okay, so like say say at frame 60 I want it to go to the right hand side of the screen, two seconds over. Now all you got to do, really easy, just move your object. And if you've done this right, you will get this little trajectory path. Okay, so now Flash has filled in all the gaps. It has created a tween. Notice it places a key frame here. Now, so these circles are key frames, key frames in Flash are frames that hold some kind of data, in this case motion data. They can hold rotation, scale, color, all kinds of different data. It's just a key, a frame that holds some sort of data, a keyframe, in this case motion. Okay, so what's cool here is now I can do several different things. I can grab this uh, motion path and I can change it. And Flash will change my motion path accordingly. If I've got this object selected, it shows that path. I can actually go back in between here and target an individual frame move my object and Flash will drop more keyframes. See at frame 30 I changed my motion and Flash adapts to this. See, So that's a very easy simple way to do it. You, you create an object, you convert it to a symbol, you add your tween and you move your object on a different frame. One last thing, always test your motion in more of a real-time format by hitting command enter or control enter depending if you're Mac or PC and check to see if the motion is at the correct pacing what you wanted for your pacing. There you go. That's it for today. As always, if you want to see a uh, more complex subject of any sort, any any subject uh, you'd like to see, just let me know. My email is justincussman at gmail.com and I'll create a video for you. All right. Have a good one.